Hey, I'm Gary McAdams with the XP Realty, the Key West Life. I'm up in Marathon today showing homes in the Sombrero Beach area. Sombrero Beach itself is, in my opinion, probably the nicest beach in all of the Florida Keys. Marathon just put millions of dollars into it over the last, say, six or so years and really revamped it. It's much larger than most of the beaches, much cleaner than most of the beaches. As you'll see up here in a, bit, a little bit, you have handicapped parking. You can see you got lots of regular parking off street. There's an entrance to get to the beach about every 500 feet. They have, which is very rare for a public restroom, extremely clean restrooms. They have a child's playground, plenty of trash receptacles, so there's no reason to have the beach be dirty. If you, you bring a can of Coke or you bring some food out in the beach, just you know, be courteous to your fellow beachgoers. Use the trash cans when you're done. They have walkways, they have a nature park conservatory. The houses out here are mostly canal front. Some of them are on the open water. The ones I'm looking at today are canal front. The canal front homes on the low end will sell anywhere from a million to a million five up to about 2.5 million. The open water houses will go well into the three million dollar plus range. Several advantages of Marathon. One is it's very deep water boating. You can get a large big yacht in here or a sailboat. Plenty of room for your boats. And also if you're looking to buy it as an investment income property, Marathon allows you to rent in seven day intervals where the majority of Monroe County, which is the Florida Keys, is a 28 day minimum rental period by law. You'll find a lot more people able to take a week off to vacation in the Florida Keys than you will find people able to take a month off to vacation in the Florida Keys. That'll also let you rent the property out some to offset your expenses and then you'll have your own Keys getaway pad when you're ready to come down and enjoy a vacation yourself. Ours is here usually pretty upscale as you can see. This one even has a boat, uh, boat ramp, which is a very good feature because those are now illegal to do. The Army Corps of Engineers won't allow you to do a boat ramp anymore. But this one's grandfathered in, so you'll always have that boat ramp if you want to trailer your boat down from the mainland and launch it right in your own backyard and then dock it on the seawall that's next to the boat ramp. This neighborhood's probably about 50-50 year-round residents or second winter homes versus rental homes. A lot of the lesser priced properties in Marathon and other areas are used more for vacation rental homes. I find a lot of people don't want to spend two, two and a half million dollars on a house and then rent it out to the weekend warriors coming down. But if you want to rent it a little bit, it'll definitely offset your expenses. It'll pay your taxes and your insurance anyway, which is always a good thing. Anything we can do to help these days. This one here is a perfect rental home. It's three floors, plenty of deck space. I don't know if you can see the pool behind the bushes, but there's a pool and it's also right on the main canal. Now we're getting into some of the bigger houses. These are the houses that would sell on the very, very low end at two to 2.5 million. And some of these would go up well over 3 million. They're much larger, the lots are larger. You can see the gates and the decks and the privacy walls. These are on the open water, so you have the advantage of a beautiful sunset view as well as putting your boat right in your backyard. So these houses are the really high end. I sold a couple of them out here. The last one I sold here was on the open water. It was about three years ago when it sold for two and a half million dollars back then. The ones we're looking at today are canal front houses. The lowest priced one I'm showing today is $1.3 million. The highest priced one I'm showing today is $1.9 million. Just to give you a rough idea of what's selling for what price. If you want to take a look at any homes anywhere in Marathon or anywhere in the Florida Keys at all for that matter, give me a call. 305 731 
0501. I'm Gary McAdams with EXP Realty. Hope to hear from you soon and make you my Florida Keys neighbor.